That way we don't gotta get ready. Stay ready. So you don't have to get ready. Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez have reignited one of boxing's most anticipated potential showdowns following a heated exchange on Instagram Live. The conversation touched on numerous topics, including their respective paths in boxing. Crawford criticized Canelo, pointing out that while people talk about his difficulties in moving up in weight, Canelo himself went up and faced challenges but ultimately lost. This interaction, filled with sharp exchanges, has once again focused attention on the question of whether these two undisputed champions will face off in the ring. What started as another rumor quickly escalated into a fiery debate, with Crawford accusing Canelo of dodging tough competition. In contrast, Canelo stood firm, dismissing Crawford's challenges as baseless. The Instagram live session between Crawford and Canelo didn't take long to heat up. Known for his outspoken nature, Crawford came straight at Canelo, calling him out for allegedly avoiding a fight with him, and also with fellow super middleweight contender David Benavidez. Sign the contract, be a man, Crawford said bluntly, challenging Canelo to step into the ring with him. He didn't hold back, accusing Canelo of choosing easier opponents to protect his legacy. Fight me or fight Benavidez, homie. You're out there choosing weaker opponents, and you know it, Crawford asserted, referring to Canelo's recent win over rising star Edgar Berlanga, who many believed was an easy night for Canelo. Crawford's words reflect a longer-running criticism of Canelo, suggesting that the Mexican star has been avoiding genuine threats to maintain his status at super middleweight. Crawford claims that Canelo has been cherry-picking his opponents, and that Berlanga was just another name on a list of easy targets. Canelo, known for his calm demeanor even under fire, wasn't rattled by Crawford's accusations. Instead, he delivered a sharp retort that dismissed Crawford's challenge. Like I always say, there are weight classes for a reason. Stay in your class and stop chasing the money. Canelo shot back, effectively shutting down Crawford's attempts to bait him into a fight. Canelo's response is indicative of his long-standing belief that fighters should stick to their respective divisions. For him, Crawford's challenge, while bold, didn't make sense given the significant size difference between them. After all, Canelo has been operating at 168 pounds and higher, while Crawford's success has primarily been at welterweight, a considerably lower division. The notion of Crawford jumping up two weight classes to fight Canelo seemed unrealistic to the super middleweight king. Canelo faced Kovalev, and he handled him. Canelo remarked, But what's the point of me going up to fight someone smaller? Yet, for Crawford, the weight difference was irrelevant. He had already proven his mettle against larger opponents throughout his career, and saw no reason why Canelo should be any different. I'm ready to fight anybody. I'll fight you. I'll fight Benavidez. You all know I'm a problem. I'm not scared to move up. You're just scared of me, Crawford said, expressing his willingness to take on any challenge. Adding fuel to the fire is the fact that Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority remains interested in staging this blockbuster fight, pushing for a December or January date. Discussions are swirling about a massive event taking place in the United States with Saudi involvement helping to potentially make this dream fight a reality. Crawford even suggested a catchweight could work, proposing something around 158 or 160 pounds. For Crawford, this fight represents a chance to make history. Moving up two weight classes to face Canelo would be one of the boldest moves in recent boxing history, solidifying his legacy as a fearless competitor willing to take on any challenge regardless of size. But for Canelo, the fight carries more risks than rewards. He knows that defeating a smaller opponent might not garner him the recognition he deserves. If I beat Crawford, they'll just say, well, he's smaller. Canelo stated when asked about the potential matchup. He feels that a win over Crawford wouldn't do much for his legacy, labeling it a no-win situation even though he acknowledges Crawford's abilities as a fighter. Canelo has been vocal about his approach should he face Crawford. In a recent interview, 
He admitted that Crawford's switch-hitting style, his ability to fight effectively as both a southpaw and orthodox fighter, would pose challenges. I think Crawford would be tough to prepare for because he switches stances, Canelo admitted, recognizing Crawford's skill set. Despite this, Canelo remains confident he has the tools necessary to win. He pointed out that patience and body shots would be crucial for breaking down Crawford's defenses. You have to be patient and work the body, Canelo explained. I think patience is the key. Everybody looks for the head. And it's very difficult to hit that kind of fighter in the head. Canelo's focus on body shots makes perfect sense, especially against a smaller, faster opponent like Crawford. While Crawford might be adept at evading headshots, Canelo's punishing body punches could wear him down over time, making it easier to land more significant power shots as the fight progresses. While Crawford has been relatively quiet on his strategy for facing Canelo, his trainer, Brian McIntyre, has been vocal. McIntyre is adamant that Crawford's boxing IQ and versatility would enable him to overcome Canelo, despite any size disadvantage. Speaking to Fight Hub TV earlier this year, McIntyre stated, Bud beats his ass. He just outboxes him. He dismissed concerns about Canelo's power, emphasizing that Crawford has faced powerful opponents before and knows how to neutralize their threats. We know how to roll with punches and take their power away from them. McIntyre explained, Timing is essential when it comes to big punches. He believes that if the fight takes place, it would resemble Crawford's dominant performance against Errol Spence Jr. in their recent welterweight unification fight. However, despite their heated Instagram exchange, there are still significant hurdles to overcome before the fight can happen. Canelo has consistently expressed his reluctance to face a smaller fighter like Crawford, fully aware that he would receive little credit for a victory. At the same time, Crawford continues to push for the fight confident in his ability to defeat Canelo and add another historic win to his resume. When asked about a potential fight with Crawford, Canelo initially dismissed the idea, pointing out the obvious size discrepancy. I have nothing to win with Crawford, Canelo stated. Two to three weight classes less than me. For Canelo, the fight doesn't hold much allure, especially considering his own accomplishments in multiple weight classes. However, he didn't entirely shut down the prospect. But if the money is right, why not? Canelo added, leaving the door ajar for a potential matchup. This remark ignites speculation, as boxing fans know that money often drives big fights. As Crawford remains focused on making this fight happen, Canelo is looking at his next challenges. One name that frequently comes up in conversations surrounding Canelo is David Benavides known as the Mexican monster. Benavides has been viewed as one of the few fighters capable of presenting a legitimate challenge to Canelo. A former super middleweight champion, Benavides has been calling out Canelo for years, hoping for his shot at the champ. However, Benavides's recent setbacks both inside and outside the ring complicate the situation. In his last fight, Benavides made his light heavyweight debut but didn't deliver the explosive performance fans had hoped for. Since then, he has chosen to stick with 